Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Better Wolf Lardy. Today we are here with the new content related to water supply engineering. And in this video we are dealing with the multiple choice questions that has been that had been asked in the Public Service Commission PSC examination in the previous years. And they are frequently asked questions during the Biva. Without any delay, I am going to start the questions and my first question goes like this. The device is installed for drawing the water from the source is called options, filters, intakes, aquifers, none of the above. The right answer is intakes. Next question. Gravity water supply system starts from intake collection chamber BPT. Fuck it. And the right answer is it's intake. Next question. Source of water in the mountains. Tube well, well stream none of them the main source of water in the mountains is a stream next question which of the flowing material is used during drilling to prevent from carving bentonite thexatrophy both a and b none of the above that is while drilling there is a problem of the soil or the stones being attached with the drilling materials to remove that problem we use the material and those materials are bentonite and thixotropy next question the rate of flow in artisan spring is continuous and the rate of flow in artisan spring is continuous and Increases in the rainy season, constant in all conditions, increases as the water table rises, decreases in a drought season. Among these four options, in the artesian spring, to be it is a continuous and it increases as the water table rises. The perched aquifer generally occurs in an aquiclude, in an artesian aquifer, above the water table, below the water table. And the right answer is above the water table. It is just a cobbed shaped non permeable layer which is just above the water table which stores the certain amount of the water within it which might be used as a source of water for the users consumers Next question. for an insignificant effect of the water table the tube wells are be spaced as one in every 0 0.5 square kilometers 1 square kilometer 1.5 square kilometer 2 square kilometer for the insignificant effect or the negligible effect on the water table, we need to put the tube wells within 1.5 square kilometer so that we can judge the level of the water table. Next question. RMU means running, maintenance, operation. Last option, all of the above. And the right answer is, is RMO stands for running, maintenance, and operation. And the right answer is all of the above. Next question. The water supply demand in the fully plumbed system in context of Nepal is 45 LPCD, that is liters per, per capita per day. LPCD stands for liters per capita per day. Next option 60 LPCD 
112 LPCD, 135 LPCD. And the right answer is for a fully plumbed system, the water supply demand is 112 LPCD. The next question. If the average daily consumption of the city is 10 to 5 meters cube, the maximum daily consumption on the peak hour demand will be 1.2 into 10 to 5 meters cube, 1.5 into 10 to 5 meters cube, 1.8 into 10 to 5 meters cube, 2.7 into 10 to 5 meters cube. There's a formula for the daily average daily consumption, and it's Peak hour demand PSD barabar 2.7 times the average daily consumption. And the right answer for this is 2.7 into 10 to the power 5 meters cube. Size of the colloidal particles present in the water is that is the range is from 10 to 10 to the power minus 1 mm. Next option is 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 3 mm. 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 6 mm. 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 9 mm. The colloidal particles present in the water ha has a size varying in between 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 6 mm. The next question is pH value of the water for a water supply. That is, for a neutral objects, the pH value of the water, pH value is 7 and so then it need to be the pH value of the water need to be within the range of the neutral. We have the options 6.5 to 8.5, 5.5 to 7, 7, 7 to 9.5, 9.5 to 9.5. Then the right answer is 6.5 to 8.5, which is 1.5 below the neutral and 1.5 above the neutral. Question. Disinfection of the water involves killing of the diseases bacteria, produce of the disease bacteria, no change, none of the above. Disinfection of the water involves, of course, it's a it risk killing of the disease bacteria, that is pathogenic bacteria, which causes the disease. The next question is. The chemical formula of the bleaching powder is CaOCl2, CaO2Cl, CaOCl, none of the above. And the bleaching, the chemical formula of bleaching powder is CaOCl2. And the bleaching powder is used as a disinfectant in the water supply system to make the water portable. And the next question. PVC pipe can withstand pressure up to 20 meter head of the water, 50 meter head of the water, 100 meter head of the water, 150 meter head of the water. Polyvinyl chloride pipes, PVC pipes can withstand the pressure up to 100 meter head of the water. Septic tank is provided for to eliminate the sewer system tank for the sedimentation come disposal under the aerobic condition oxygen free sedimentation come disposal under the anaerobic condition none of the above well septic tank is provided for the oxygen free sedimentation com disposal under anaerobic condition means the anaerobic condition means the in the absence of the oxygen it uh, the septic tank is used is buried water tank container usually made of the concrete fiberglass or a polythene its job is to allow solids to settle down the bottom of the down the bottom forming the slot while the oil and oil and the grease floats in the top as a scum which makes it makes the 
the below materials under an aerobic condition next question what will be the daily per capita water demand for the city of 0.2 million people whose total water requirement per annum is 1.71000 cubic meters 150 liters 280 liters 270 liters 260 liters first of all we must know that in a one meter cube there is th there are thousand liter of the water here the right answer is 270 liters and how this how the answer occurs we have discussed below here we have given the population of the city P barabar 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of 6 total water requirement per annum is 1971000 cubic meters daily per capita consumption is equal to total annual requirement that is yearly requirement divided by number of days into population of the city that is for the per capita that is per person we need to divide the population we need to divide it by the population and we got 0 0.27 cubic meters which we multiply with a thousand one in one cubic meters there are thousand liters and multiply the thousand to get the answers and the right answer is 270 liters next question the GI pipe has a coating of zinc lead silver aluminium GI5 GI pipe stands for galvanized iron pipe and the coating is drawn by zinc thanks for watching the video till the last of the video if you find it interesting please subscribe comment like and share the video among your friends and also don't forget to comment if you find it interesting and if there is any confusion within the content i have included in the video and the related contents of water supply engineering